Guess who's back? And I ain't, I ain't hating or nothing like that. But I didn't come here to give you a makeup tutorial. I didn't come here to te teach you how to make the best pancakes in the world. <laughs> I didn't come here to, you know, I came here to release Jesus, to release this God and this Holy Spirit that's living inside of me. And to just share all my life experiences, my pain, the devils I done overcame. At the current status that we're at. I'm in my vehicle. This is the 44th dimension. And this is one of the greater powers or the mansions that I dwell in. So I'm excited to be here. There's many emotions that we feel. And so if you're in a negative bind or you're in a tight situation or you're in a place where you're feeling consumed by darkness, you don't stay there. That's like you're in a building and someone throws a grenade and you just stay there. You finna blow up. So whenever that devil throws a grenade at you, you don't stay there. Move into position. If you're in a boxing ring, you don't just keep your guard down and stay in that position. You're going to get knocked out. When they throw a left jab, you move to the right. You dodge. So I'm learning that. I've had so many incredible visions in the past week of my life. And I come here today excited because I know clarity is here. I know the king of heaven is here. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, meaning it is right here, right now. It is all within in totality in its fullness now. Right here is the moment. And right here is the place. What you see is the vessel. As a child of God, you are the container of everything. I was worshiping God and I went into this open vision and there was like this giant octopus in the ocean. It had a long tentacle and it grabbed me and I took my sword and I cut one of its tentacles off. But the core of the power of the engine that was really moving. See, you can cut a devil's arm off, but that devil can come back right with his right hand and he can still cast spells on you. You can cut a devil's legs off, but he can cr still crawl right back up in your ministry. But you want to fully destroy the engine behind it. And so all these angels showed up in this vision. And there was this weapon, this spear. And they couldn't touch that spear. Only the one that has been redeemed by the blood of the lamb was able to touch that spear and activate it. I've never seen anything like this before. So they led me to that weapon. And I touched it and it activated and went into the heart of this giant demonic being and just crushed it. Fully crushed it. Ain't no coming back crushed it. Ain't no rising up again crushed it. Just fully eliminated that thing. And then right after, because see, every song you listen to is a vision. And Jesus showed me that... He'll take you into a vision, but if you stay in that vision through focus and staying there, you'll go to the end of the vision and you'll receive a reward. You'll open up a treasure chest. So if you're in an open vision, you have to learn how to stay there 
Stay in that sound. Stay in that attunement. Stay in that focus. And swim there. And you'll reach a greater depths of what God is trying to show you. And you'll definitely come out much more powerful. And then I had this another vision. And I was swimming. After I slayed that beast, I began to swim into the ocean. And there was these different types of angels that I experienced. Angels of unfoldment. And they began to take me places in the ocean that demons couldn't travel, that the carnal mind couldn't travel down, that the flesh couldn't go through. And they were taking me to these places and I was being, I myself, I was being unfolded. I was being submerged. And there was three different type of angels I seen. But they brought me to this depths and there was this anchor and there was this ship and there was this blessing, the spirit of blessing that was constrained, that was bound. And they brought me to this location, but only the one that was redeemed by the blood of the lamb could activate this. And I put my hand on it and activated it and I set it free. And it began to rise rapidly throughout the ocean. Like if you was in prison for a hundred years and they unlocked the door, you would run out of that thing. And then it entered into the heavens and activated and opened up and poured out. And it showed me that there are things that only, only the one that has been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, you have access to what other beings don't have access to. You're able to do things that nobody else is able to do. So there's a responsibility we have. We as human beings on this earth, we have power beyond our wildest imagination. And there were certain things that can only take place by us showing up, by us speaking certain words. There's certain things that only God can allow to release and flow and make happen through your prayer, through your creation, through your design, through your movement. I learned that. And then I purchased a new health item. They took seven herbs, some of the most powerful herbs all over the world, and they combined them into this elixir. And you take a shot and you can pour it in your water. And I'm drinking it now. This is my first time trying it, and it's powerful. It's powerful. So another thing I feel, there are unknown structures inside of my spirit. Things that I don't really know yet. So instead of being frustrated, instead of avoiding it, instead of thinking it's bad, see, we destroy ourselves. The devil laughs at us. We beat, even when we're grown, we're mature, we're elevating in God, we're so wise, but we still beat ourselves up like foolishness. So if something is unknown and you start thinking a negative thought about it, you're beating yourself up. If something is unknown and you start thinking, oh no, I'm messing up, I'm tripping, it's my fault, you're automatically entering into your flesh and you're automatically entering into that satanic cycle of thinking. Okay, now your emotion is producing what you're thinking. Now it's entered into a deeper realm now a deeper grasp of the devil now a deeper now the devil has a greater depth in you so he's able to hit and it's harder to come out of that we always beat ourselves up and you got to stop doing that you have to see everything is glorious everything is open heaven everything is because god works out for the greater good to those that love him and be called, called according to his purpose everything is greater good everything is greater good and god just gets greater and greater so you just get greater and greater it doesn't matter what your flesh is saying it doesn't matter what the devil doing in christ you're getting greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and you're just expanding and you're just overflowing and you're just rising to greater tides and greater heights and greater monuments and greater status and greater fame and greater excitement and greater passion and greater revelation and you're just moving and driving into a higher l level of luxury higher level of diamonds higher level of supreme sapphire sovereign power you just you just you're create you, everything is just activating at one time okay and so when i speak to a certain place that's a location that i've never discovered for now what i love about life there's so many dark rooms say you go in this massive mansion with a million rooms you know, experience turns the light of that room on. Now you have that dwelling place to inhabit and it's yours forever. So always my advice and what I've learned in my life, always try new things. Don't just stay in your little old comfort zone. Okay, try new things. 
always try everything you possibly can. Try new things. Download as many apps as you can. Try mind mapping. Try creating this. Try designing this. Try try reading this book. Try reading this magazine. Try doing this. Try being a lawnmower. Try being an engineer. Try, tap because God is everywhere and you can experience him and activate things within you that you never knew were possible. There were things that you never even knew were there. Who knew you was going to be born? And come to earth and work at this job. So someone down the timeline had to know. For all this to be available. For this to happen in time. There had to be. You know. The beginning had to know that this would occur in the timeline. So yeah. This stuff is amazing. And then another way we defeat ourselves is like, and I used to do this all the time. We make a mistake. So that mistake, we magnify it above everything we do. Well, now my channel's not going to be powerful because I made a mistake. Now my video and my presentation is not going to be powerful because I made a mistake and I feel this way. Now I'm probably going to not walk in the greater level of the anointing. But the scripture says he will increase you more and more. How in the world are you not, you're being increased more and more in Christ, but you're still in the flesh. Thinking like that, acting like that, operating like that. And the Lord's still working on me. He'll always be working on me. That's what the Holy Spirit's showing me. You know, I didn't come here to be powerful. I came here to be weak, vulnerable, open. Talk about my flaws, my problems. That's what I like to boast in. Because that's where I get the strength of Jesus. That's where the strength of God begins to flow. In my weakness. We have to stop using time to constrain us. Oh, well, I got to get up and do this and I only got this amount of time and I got to... Those are conflicting thoughts. That's why you feel conflict. And you simply, you know how you have like an app? I have Google ads on my phone and it promotes my channel. It promotes my business. All I got to do is click enable or disable. It's the same thing in your life. There's certain things you don't have to fight. You don't have to use all your mental power spiritually you just simply enable or disable so there's certain things that come on your timeline you don't have to pull out your sword you don't have to call 50,000 angels you don't have to put on your best apparel you just simply disable there are certain and this is powerful there are certain supernatural powers you have and you can activate all the angels all the operation all the work it would take you to do you don't have to do any work any effort you just simply choose to enact choose to enable and it's like this hidden sacred technique and the soul and the power you possess and it's a simple thought because thoughts are like turning on lights thoughts are like pushing buttons that cause machines to work for you it's a simple thought in Jesus name in Jesus' name. I know that I'm going somewhere greater with God because I feel unknown right now. Like, everything is unknown. I don't even know what's... But after going through this and progressing through this, this thing that God does in my life, I'm getting used to it. I'm understanding how to use it and wield it for my power. And advance in it, not stay stuck in it. Like... If something's not, if you don't understand something, don't start killing yourself. Don't start beating up yourself. Like, start, like, thriving in that unknowing. Like, this unknowing is going to take me to a new stratosphere with God. And then I'm going to encounter all these constellations and new streams of wealth are going to come to me. And then ideals are going to generate publicly where I can influence many nations. And this is going to be the seed. You know, there's a knowing inside of you. 
that unlocks understanding that you don't even have to ask or wonder there's a knowing inside of you and you can choose to ask wait on the answer or you can choose to tap into that knowing and the lord's like see the lord, god be like wait a minute he's elevating See, God wants to see what are you going to, he, he wants to see how are you, what are you going to use? I've given you these tools. Are you going to build the house? I've given you this marine suit. Are you going to swim in the depths of the ocean? I've given you this airplane. Are you going to fly in the sky? I've given you this car. Are you going to drive to the next level? And he's waiting and he's waiting and he's waiting. Okay. And he gets excited when we start driving. He gets excited when we like, you know, and a lot of people, they'll, they'll get in the car, but then they'll get out of the car. Okay, and he's like, come on, man. Come on, start the engine and just start driving. Let me be your pathway. Let me be your unfoldment. Let me be your experience. You know what I'm saying? That's what, I, that's what God's saying. All right, we getting somewhere. I can feel it. See, in my room, I wasn't driving. I was getting prepared. In my room for the pad, you know, I came home from work. We fasting, we seek in the face of God, we seek in the truth of God, not all that religious stuff. I want the truth. I want to know about aliens. I want to know about the celestial beings. I want to know about the dimensions. I want to know about the universe. I want to know about everything God created, okay? No religion. Religion is another word for hindrance. Religion is another word for binding, okay? I don't want religion. I want the spirit of the Lord. I want the, the freedom of God, okay? On all aspects. I want to know everything. I want to know, I want to understand hell. I want to understand demons. I want to understand heaven. I want to understand angels. I want to know, I want to know everything. That stuff is powerful. You can check out my, my organic hell store. I've been building that thing. And the most powerful items have been placing it on there. Everything that comes against you puts you in a position to be elevated. God is a master when it comes to chess. He will outcheck the devil every time. So when you trust in the Lord, you stay in his you stay in the movement of his hand. When you trust in God, you stay in the movement of his hand. But when you start doubting, when you start man, man, I just need to do this, you step out of that. And then you got all these demonic arrows coming and you get pierced. And then you go back to your daddy, he heals you, he covers you, he feeds you, and he puts you back in his arms. It's like, son, you're about to walk, this is what you do when you step out of the will of God. Your father's in the house, right? He says, son, you're about to walk out of that door. I cannot force you to stay here, but you're choosing to walk out of that door. Don't get mad at me if you get hurt. I've warned you. Okay. God is not the force of your life. He's not going to force you to do nothing. Okay. We choose to step out of his will. Okay. I was watching this video that changed my life. He said, success is good. I hope you're successful. God wants you to be successful. But there's a difference between living a successful life and a life of significance. Success is about you. But when you make it about others, your life becomes significant. That changed my life. I'm listening to this audiobook right now. 
This woman's talking about gold dust. And the scripture says you will stack up gold dust. Now there's all, all these molecules around us, ideals, opportunities, inventions, just stacking up. And this virtue unlocks this. And then in movement, you pull the lever, you drive, and she's just, all these, as she's speaking, all these things are connecting in my brain, connecting in my mind, and being hardwired, and synapses are going off, explosions are going off, and open heavens are going off, and as I just sit there and observe, a lot of times I'll be producing, building, you know, and I'll just keep my earphones in, and I'll just let this wisdom flow, because you know, wisdom is a flow, and I'll just let it flow to me. Because a lot of times we'll be in a place of wondering and our mind, and you got to keep a, the voice of wisdom flowing in your spirit. You got to keep the voice of revelation flowing in your spirit. You got to keep the voice of purpose. I always have things set up. Like I knew I was excited. I knew that when I came to this car, I was going to be in power. The God was going to reign on me, and I was going to get greater than what I could ask. See, I, when I come here, I get greater. God can do more than you can ask, abundantly more than you can even imagine or ask. And I, I get that when I come here. I get that when I come here. And then I have these health items that are on the way being shipped from Amazon to my house. So there is a new level, a new extract of God's supernatural Eden power on its way. Okay. But I feel this unknown realm in me right now. That's how I know I'm about to go to a new realm in God. See, when you traveling and you ain't never been to Hawaii before, you ain't never be, been to Canada before, you're going to be asking tourists, you're going to be asking around, you're going because you ain't never been there before. It's the same thing in God. See, we get frustrated in the process of God when we're supposed to be excited. We about to, see, we about to get a million dollars right now in the Holy Spirit. We about to unlock a dimension of infinite wealth, infinite diamonds, but we frustrated because we don't see that. We see this as, well, it's unknown, so that's because you lack trust. And remember, trust builds, confidence builds. Just like a, just like a house is built, okay? Just like your business is growing. Well, it's the same thing with spiritual applications. They build, they grow. Okay, okay, you got that part right, building and growing, but you got to learn how to connect it. You got to learn how to connect it to intervention, to streams, to websites, to systems of power. Now you got, now you know how to build, now you know how to grow, now you know how to connect the systems of power, but then you got to learn how to use that system of power to the smallest molecule in the universe, and then you got to see it as a reflector, as a reflection of all the grand power and scheme of life. But then it integrates into your DNA. It becomes your character. So all the work, all the effort, all the mental power you had to use, you no longer have to use that anymore. It's just an automatic activation of flow. And that's where things become character, become who you are enter into who you are, not just what you do, not what you have, not your ideals, but who you are, okay? It enters into that. And so I just saw right now, because I, I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a transition right now, my spirit, and so by coming here, whoever comes here is going to partake in that. Just like if a bus comes and say, hey, we finna go to the, we're finna go to the land of paradise. Whoever enters that bus is going. So when somebody is having a live transition, a live activation, you know, and you listen to that video, you listen to that broadcast, you listen to that pastor, you partake in that. See, you go to church, and I say this all the time, you watch a video, and it's boring because you're not seeing what's happening in the spirit realm. Okay, there's no such thing as boring. Okay, you're just, I feel good. I feel Jesus. And you know, the Holy Spirit comes upon me in different ways. Not just so I can feel it. There's a reason why. So as I speak new things, as I speak, and I just keep speaking, and I just keep speaking, things are taking place. You want to learn how to never shut up about God. Never shut up about success. Learn how to make negative thoughts shut up. 
And you do that by being louder and louder and louder and louder about Jesus, about life, about prosperity, about success, about understanding, about whatever you desire. You know, I have these financial apps where every time I buy something, it gives me percentages of money back. And now I'm learning how to get, and it comes to my bank account. Now I'm learning how to invest that and multiply that and triple that because the Lord's really teaching me about wealth and all that because I ask him to. If you don't ask him to, you're not going to walk in that. But there's this one app and it gives you an option. You can choose to get paid this week or you can choose to get paid in a month. You get to choose when your paycheck comes. So in the spirit, a lot of times we choose Oh, by, by the words we speak, oh, I got to wait two years. I got to wait till I get paid. We speak like that. So what we're doing is saying, well, Lord, I want my pay to come five months. from." No, no, no. See, we, you want your paycheck now. So you got to start talking now. Not when I get paid, I'll be able to do that. When this happened. No, no, no. Now. Okay. That's what you're doing. You're, you're postponing your paycheck in the spirit realm. Okay. Don't do that anymore. In Jesus' name, don't do that anymore, please. Please don't do that anymore. No I've had so many impartations by just being devoted to wisdom and listening to people. I always listen to everybody. I want to learn about everything. I listen to people that are engineers. I listen to people that write books. How do I write a book? How are you successful? What is his diet? What is his mindset? I'm always listening to different people. Because, you know, just like music, how you have different genres. Well, God, you have different genres. Every spiritual being is a different genre of God. Okay, so I want to listen to you. I want to hear your voice. When people talk, shh, listen to them. Okay? When birds sing, shh, don't say, oh, that's just a bird. No, listen. I want to hear that sound in your soul. I want to hear that sound in your vision. Okay? Because you are a man of, see, we, we don't understand how amazing life is. Like, if, I, if somebody gets out, comes out of the house right now, that is a manifestation of God that just walked out of that house. They may not realize it. If somebody walk, if if a cat walk walks by my car right now, if a if a person comes by, that's a manifestation of God in the flesh. You have just seen God with your own eyes. A manifestation of God. Okay. It's been materialized into this fleshly being. Okay. You're looking at him. All right, let's get comfortable. Like I said, I'm in an unknown realm right now. I'm in a transition right now. Millions of people. Okay, see, don't you, don't you, don't you. Okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Learn to have a good time when you preach. Learn to have a good time when you teach. Don't get all antsed up and amped up. What am I going to tell them? How am I going to tell them? Let's don't start freaking out. Have a good time. Get all that pressure off you. You worry too much. Value makes you feel important. It's supposed to. Not only does value make you feel the importance of who you are, when you really focus on that purpose, it transitions into your purpose. See, the reason why life seems lame and whack, because you're not living in your purpose. When you live in your purpose, you're going to have way too much passion. You're going to have to call up your buddies and be like, bro, can you borrow 30% of my passion? You're going to let him borrow 30%. He's going to fall to his face, be unconscious for three weeks. And he's going to like, bro, if that's only 30% of your passion, I can't imagine the other 70% you possess. You're going to have to start in part. Like you, you're going to have, you're going to be so filled that you're going to, I have no, like me personally, I have no choice but to make videos hour long. But I have no choice but to talk to people for hours because I'm filled with the Lord. I feel myself with God every day, all day.
And see, don't don't just see things as oh another sermon. See it as intel. I have this prophetic design that I do, and it's the visions that I get in open heavenly encounters. And I implement it on through artwork. But what it when I finish that design, it's not just some picture that I painted that's pretty and oh it looks nice, it has a Bible scripture. No, just like how you have a graphics card and a CPU. Well, what that is, it turns into spiritual technology. Because it comes from your vision, it comes from God, now it's manifested. So it's a spiritual piece of technology. And it takes my processing power, my graphics power, my every type of engineering power, and it just amplifies it when I release it, when I share it. Now, when I upload it, that's my worship to God. So I get all that power, but then I turn it into worship. And so, so much rains back upon me. Yeah, these are one of the heavenly systems. You know how to use it, you know how to leverage it, you know how to feed it. You want your joy to grow. You know, nobody wants to be fat, right? Everybody wants to be skinny and healthy, but you want your joy to be obese. So you feed it, you keep feeding it, you feed it. You feed it, you feed it, you feed it breakfast two times a day. You feed it lunch through, you give it as much dessert as you want. Feed your joy. You produce, feed your production. See, there's so many demonic strengths that come against a human being. It's, oh, well, my arm hurts. Well, I don't know what's going on. And then you stop producing. You stop feeding the light. You stop testifying. Because it's like these demonic straits are like satanic hands that are pulling you back, trying to pull you out of that production, pull you out of that prayer, pull you out of that sequence, pull you out of that visitation. They're always trying to do that. And I'm learning how to automatically shred them with thoughts. The devil only has as much power in your life as you give him. You're giving Satan all this power and you say, no, I'm not. But you don't even realize the words. See, the reason why we don't really see the manifestation is because we're in conflict with ourselves. We say one thing, but we believe another thing and we do something else. But when we say that thing, think that thing, do that thing. Now you got a triple unified part. Now your body's in agreement with your mind. Now your mind's in agreement with your soul. Now your soul's in agreement with your energy. Now your energy is in agreement with your movement. Now, now you just, you're just this opened vault of glory. People run into that. They run into you. This stuff right here is good. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I love this. You know how you're in your room and, oh, check my phone. Click on this website, click on this website, and then, you know... You don't know, but right here is just a stillness. I ain't clicking on nothing. I ain't got to go. I'm just still. And I'm just flowing in this river. And everyone is coming to this river like John the Baptist in the wilderness. Everybody's coming to this river. Everybody's coming to this channel. And they're going to be baptized with a greater glory. And the move of God is here. God is moving on my life, he's moving on this, and he's moving on everyone that comes. See, just, oh, I, Jesus, I feel it. I can feel the spirit of God. See, I'll be feeling God. I'll be feeling God. Let me tell you why I love Jesus. Let me tell you why I love God. I'll be feeling his presence and his spirit so strong. It makes me go crazy. When I be in my room, I, before I go to work, I'll drink coffee. I'll be and I start feeling so much energy. I'll, but before I would just feel the spirit. 
Now, look, look, look. Let's stack right now. Let's build right now. You don't need a computer. You don't need an iPhone. You don't need $500,000 worth of technology. Look. They're about to get me crunk. I feel excited now. I feel the power now. Okay, look, 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 look. Don't be playing games with me, okay? I got Jesus living inside of me. You didn't know Jesus is the Almighty. Jesus is Yahweh. Jesus is all powerful. Jesus is all knowing. But he makes himself of no reputation. He doesn't try to do anything because he is. He doesn't seem powerful. He is. So we're always trying and seeming. So we never really experience how powerful Jesus is. We think he's just this man that got spit on, this old bearded, hairy. No, 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 no. No. Look, look, look. Listen to me. I got God living inside of me. Listen to me. You want to be a professional athlete? Listen to me. You want to be the most successful? <laughs> you want your business to multiply by 700%? Listen to me. Okay. going somewhere I, I can feel a new i can feel a new realm of god opening up to me and it's very it's very uh it's very and the lord's showing me so much right now I, I i see a whole bunch of like see the voice of the lord electricity i see all this electricity going off in my mind but it's the voice of the lord speaking in so many directions at one time see god will speak see god is infinite in one word he's spoken everything in that one word okay so god moves like that there's so many millions of voices and sounds in one Okay, and you got to catch the, the flow of that currency and just swim in and not try to process it in your human brain. Well, the, the, your processing is always trying to. Yes. Okay. All right, I got you. We're going to have a good time. Trust me. You're going to. What I got is better than Denny's and Golden Corral. Right now, this is better than the Internet. Okay. Okay. You know. Okay, that's, so before, I would just feel the Spirit of God, okay? But now, I'm knowing the Spirit of God. But now, not only am I knowing, I'm understanding the sound wave, the voice, and the move of the Spirit of God, okay? And then, that's a pillar the Lord just gave me, like a blueprint impartation to you and then it goes higher and higher but it's much greater now than it once was because now I know how to live in an open vision not just have see the world is all about I have this I have this so we think that in God but you don't have have ha you are that okay so I went from the realm of having to being so the experience of life, just the unfoldment of God and Christ and the reality of the heavens and the supernatural is just, it's open for me. Okay. And it's open for you. It's opening for you. I come here speaking to the heavens, to angels, to saints, to the world. So when I have that thought, it's like this general generalization of the general. It's the best way. I, that's the best input I can give to you on that one, the intel. But there's this divine intel, and it's a spirit. It's spiritual. It's very spirituality, and so I I stay in this intel. And it's, it's so powerful. You know, when people come together, that's a voltage. When they begin to connect with others, that's a stream. All the empowerment that I once felt that I once felt in my veins, I'm now seeing it in my mind. So all the power that was down here, the imprint of the hand, 
the veins, the arm, the DNA, all that, I'm seeing it in my mind. So something is taking place and God gets all the glory. And now I'm learning how to take, I'm learning how to go to the core, the core of my operation, but expand it to many streams. Before it was just, this is the core, this is my stream. But now I'm learning how to take that core of the operation and the will of the Father and the move of God and what he's doing in my life. And I'm learning how to connect it to multiple streams. So it's reaching into different territories, what we're doing here. You take your channel, you promote it to Facebook, promote it to Google, promote it to all these websites. So you're taking this power and you're connecting it. And the more I practice listening, the more I hear, and the more that I learn is the more that I uncover. And the more that I produce is the more that I build. And the more that I learn to stay in the present moment of my identity at all times, I stay in perfection. I stay in luxury. I stay in freedom. And the more I stay in those locations, a meeting takes place in my spirit. Then promotion is issued there. Advancement is issued there. Then the celebration takes place. Then God takes me to that mountain in my spirit, in his spirit. And directly speaks to me there. There's so many transitions and you have to, if you know the flow of it, you can just into these deeper transitions. See other people, they're trying to earn it. They're trying to work harder, put in more hours and you work less and let the spirit of God flow more. And now you're tapping into all these other things, but yet these people are working harder, but yet you're going further. So you can work harder and still be stuck. Because you don't know the stream, you don't know the flow. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. You know, we always want, want, want more and more, but what I'm feeling right now is just to feel God's presence even one time throughout the night, just to feel God's hand even just one time throughout the night. Is the most amazing thing in the world. I always want more, 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 more. But just to feel a release or an awe or a relief come out of me, that alone is grand in scheme. It's high in resolution. We seem we want more and more, but we seem to lack appreciation in that one touch. This stuff I'm drinking is amazing. I can feel every part of my mind and body just at attention, ready to receive, ready to salute the general. Jesus is the general. You know, that name is a signal. That name travels. Jesus. And you know Jesus is the way. I can tell you how you know. I can talk about Buddha all day. There won't be no conflict. You ain't going to have devils coming against you. I can talk about all these other people. 
But when you start talking about Jesus, boom, a war occurs. There's conflict. There's anger. There's, mm, there's this. There's this. Why? Why is that name so offensive? It's the proof that he is the light over darkness. That he is the king that laid the hammer down on the devil. Okay? They hate that name. I am definitely in a different place. I take you there. I take you there. Like in my life, all the carnal constraints and all the worldly just flesh, it's beginning to melt. And the spirit realm is becoming more and more real, more and more normal to me. And the systems of heaven are beginning to dominate in my thinking dominate in the scripture i've i've devoted my life to the word of god i don't read the bible i live in the bible it's integrating in my dna into those deep satanic seeds and it's burning them out and god's getting a hold of me all over the place and i love it i love it the love that i have for people is growing just the intimacy i have for people is growing My life is not being wasted. I'm not just wasting time. I'm living in purpose. I'm living in expectation. I'm every day devoting myself to more and more or less of me and other people. Just focusing on other people and just praying and interceding and calling on the name of Jesus. and Using my money to help people. Using my mind to help people. Using my car to help people. Using my heart to help people using my knowledge and wisdom to help people, encouraging people, uplifting people, and just, I know this is not for nothing. That is my hope and my expectation. And so a new reward system is coming upon us now. A new dawn of the facial expression of Christ has come upon us. Jesus' name. You have to learn to let silence approach you. Like the ocean waves that flow to you. When you sit on the beach. And in your meditation, there must be stillness. You must go deep within. And look at everything you want, you desire, and see your expectation as an open heaven, as a pathway. And see yourself opening up that treasure chest and receiving all of its glory. Technologically speaking, see it as a download. Scientifically speaking, see it as another universal discovery. See it as an artifact for a gem collector and place it in the category of other people's desire and their wish and their pursuit to know things. Now you've taken your fulfillment and you have used it to fulfill others. 
Now you have double accelerated fulfillment generating in your life. And so if it's on a place where many people can visit and revisit, such as a video, then it will triple. And it will progress. People will take this and share it with their family, share it with their nephews. The nephews will share it with their cousins, share it with the grandparents, share it with the new children, share it with the next seed, share it with the next generation. To see that and experience that now is the advancement that surpasses age and time. In evolution. You have access to this in Christ. The mind intentions try to limit you, but the spirit frees you. All is available to you. You're not waiting for the treasure chest. It is already there. It is waiting for you to open it. Open it. Your words are all powerful. They're everything. Whatever you speak, it's going to take place. And it's going to open up as a part of you. Sleep is a position. What you do at your job is a position. How you cook is a position. Your lifestyle is a position. And there is a door open over each position. You must recognize that door and the benefit of that door and the power and the surge of that door and utilize it properly. This door is open. You're trying to accumulate and operate from the other door that's somewhere else. You're probably going to miss it and not take full advantage of that open heaven and that moment of occupation. Just by staying here and observing, staying here and listening, staying here and quieting my being, there is no separation. Everything is in perfect unity. And so I dwell in that economy and purchase and partake of all of its wealth, its fruit, its clothing, its applications. I visit all of its hotels and I stay there. And come out with such a rich experience that I'll never be the same. And I share that with everyone in a short clip of a cinematic production. If that brings you wealth, congratulations. You found a good thing. If that brings you promotion, congratulations. You found a good thing. Everything is a response. To you and what you speak, what you think, what you say, what you do. It's all a reaction of the world you live in. Can you stop murder? 
You better believe you can. Can you stop rape? You better believe you can. Somewhere down the line, we've seemed to doubt ourselves. And that doubt alone increases crime severely. But that belief suppresses it, lowers it. Highlight your belief and let it soar past the heights of towers into the wings past the heavens. That alone activates potential in the heavens to rain upon you and to change the world. When you come here and choose to testify, you've chosen to change the world. You've chosen to honor God. You've chosen the opposite of selfishness. You've chosen to speak the truth and you shall mightily be rewarded in life. Every time you make a choice, everybody else is going out to have fun, you chose to stay back and fast and pray and seek. So all lives will be touched by that decision. Every decision should be a decision that transforms one another. Decision is action. The kingdom of heaven in action. The glory of God in action. The revelation of the scripture in action. The monuments and the pillars and tower and paradise in action. The manifestation and fulfillment of desire in action. That's what decisions are. They're supernatural powers. Thoughts are supernatural. Decisions are supernatural. Belief is supernatural. This all activates heaven, activates God, activates the true you. Plants and health is intelligence. So when you try these organic health products, it activates intelligence within you. Plant life is intelligent life. So whenever you eat these, you're extracting that intelligence. You're receiving an impartation. You're not just eating and digesting. Spiritually, you're receiving and releasing. So it activates potential. Emotionally, you feel it. But the intelligence of it it begins to flow into that potential. Electronic waves, all kind of waves activate. It's like an incubator and it gives birth to something in your life. And then the air 
of God is pure. We live in our homes with so much modification, so much mixed signals, so much faulty connection on our Wi-Fi systems. So much good and evil on our cell phone devices, but when you spend time in nature and that pure oxygen and you learn from that oxygen, you learn from that breath as your Wi-Fi, as your internet, as your connection, as your food, you absorb in that breath, you ponder and meditate in that oxygen. It's like you're in this holy incubator being purified, purged, transitioned, touched, and you come out pure. Beyond information, beyond teaching, And it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be nurtured and to grow. So as I'm combining these health products and spending time outside in nighttime and morning time, it's really good. It benefits the soul, not just the mind. I don't even look forward, I look within. The next level of my life is within now. The next place of my life and experience is within now. I'm grateful for that.